I'm out here with Anthony. Anthony, uh, how long you been out here on the streets? Uh, I've been on the streets since I was 11 years old. 11 years old? And uh, what uh, what's your, what drug are you using currently? Uh, I'm using fentanyl. Fentanyl? And uh, have you ever tried to seek treatment for fentanyl use? I tried, but uh, it's something that, that, that uh, it, it takes, you know, I mean, something that it's not easy without support and the love of the family and the, uh, the love that, that you need, you know what I mean? If you don't got that love, then, it, you know what I mean, it, it's it's a lot more difficult to try to get off the drugs and, and try to do what you have to do, you know what I mean? Do you have any family at all? Yeah, I got family. So you're saying they don't support you, they don't help you? No. no Where are don't. you from originally? I'm from, uh, from, from Arizona, from here, from Arizona, Phoenix. What high school did you go to? Uh, I didn't go to high school. Any dangers out here, living out here? There's always a dangers. Always, always, always. No matter what, there's dangers. Every day there's a danger. Every night. Every day and every night. And how can people help you? How could they help me? Yeah. By showing love and support and... and, and and being there and, and listening and understanding and uh you know what I mean showing 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 that you do care. You know what I mean that what brings us to do the, the type of shit we do is is the is being heard, is is not being listened to, not being heard, not being understood what we've going through or what we've been through when we were kids, you know what I mean? And what message do you have for kids out there thinking about trying drugs? You're either gonna end up dead or you're gonna end up like me in the streets with nobody. Lonely. You know what I mean? Every day I'm lonely. Every night I'm lonely. Not having nobody by my side. Can't trust no one. You know, I'm constantly having to check, uh, check my back, constantly having to fight just to get what I need. Where'd you sleep last night? Right here. How many uh, pills do you smoke a day? I'll say it varies, man. Depend on the, uh, depends on uh, how much I panhandle for the day. What's the most you ever taken in a day? Uh, I took in about 40 of them. How do you make money to buy your pills? Uh, I panhandle. When was the last time you had a job? Last year, I'm at, I was actually a, I'm actually a, a carpenter, a journeyman in carpentry. I worked for the union, and uh, you know, I mean, it's it's been hell ever since uh, I, I lost my family. You know, what I mean, it's been it's been, it's been a roller coaster. I mean, not not knowing when you're gonna get that next hit or the sickness. Like, what makes it worse about it all is the sickness. You know, what I mean, the withdrawals. Yeah, you, you get so sick. You know, what I mean. You, you, can't you, you really lose your mind and you can't control yourself and you, you it makes you want to go and do whatever the hell you can to come up you know what I mean to get that what uh describe the withdrawals what are the, what do you feel physically damn bros hot uh cold sweats you know what I mean throwing up on both ends uh just you know it's the worst bro it, it, you feel like you want to die you feel like you want to kill yourself What do you, you're, you're not tired of this life yet? You're not Oh uh, yeah, I'm tired. I've been begging my family, my, 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 my wife to let me come back home for, for, for a good minute now. And what does she tell you? She wants me to get treatment, she wants me to go to rehab, but how could I go to rehab without that, that step of love and that support? You know what I mean? I ain't got no support, no love, and not, not, nobody's giving me that push. And, and it's constantly, you know what I mean? It drives me, it drives me, it drives me, fuck, you know what I mean? It makes me, makes me upset, makes me hurt even more, and that's why it makes me want to go do some more, more blues, or more, more, you know what I mean? It makes me want to go get faded. Is there like a numb, uh, there's there like a pain you're trying to numb, do you think? There's my whole life. There's underlying issue, like something my whole happened life. when you were a kid? Growing up my whole life, yeah. Oh well, yeah, being beat. Your dad? Stepdad. Stepdad you know beating step on you? I'm adopted, so you know what I mean? All, everything, everything from, since I was a kid, it's just been hell. 
uh, not having a family that really shows you the true love because you ain't their blood. And them looking upon you different because you ain't their blood, you know what I mean? And being beat, being tor literally tortured by, by family members, you know, that you're supposed to be family, being 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 raped, you know what I mean? Being all kinds of shit that, that, that happened, you know what I mean? Like, they, they, you don't understand what, what you really go through until you do reach that age where you understand what happened to you in life and that's when it really starts to come in play. And uh, for any kids going through that, experiencing uh, a tough life right now, they're young and they're being beat at home, domestic, domestic abuse at home from their dads, mom, stepdad. What do you, what do you tell those kids? Man, what could I tell them? You know, it, it, it's different. Everybody has different feelings towards the way they're feeling. Some people will take it as a, as a learning issue and go to the military. Some will go straight to the streets and, and, and do what they have to do to, to numb that pain. Drinking, from smoking weed, from doing jale, from doing the pastillas, from, you know, from everything. So, um... I've talked to some guys around here. I, talk, I was talking to Adam. I don't know if you know Adam. He's 21. I talked to him at the Costco, and um, he's he's sick of this, man. He says, "Hey, you know, help me. I'll, I need support." I said, "I'll be your mentor, your big brother, your father figure, you know." And uh, he wants to go to treatment. I'm gonna take him to treatment. So, you know, I'm stepping up to the plate and uh, letting you know that you know I'm here for you as well. I don't know you, but I care about what happens to you, you know. So. So you're asking for support and love. I'm here to talk to you, to encourage you, to let you know that I'm in your corner, you know? And so yeah. but you have to meet me halfway and say, hey, I'm ready to go. So take me to treatment and, you know, we'll talk to your wife and she'll be ready to get you once you're once you're clean, you know? Yeah. So would you be willing to do that? Maybe not today, but can you think Hell about yeah. it? Oh, yeah. In a heartbeat, bro. Yeah? Oh yeah. You go to treatment right now? <laughs> I don't know about right now, you know what I mean? But you know, we all, we, I'm willing to do do you know what I mean? So take that stride, you know what I mean? Okay. I got a twin sister also who's out here with me, you know what I mean? Your twin sister's out here? Yeah. Okay. So I'm always around here. Um, I'm, you know, I'll, I'll be looking for you and you let me know when you're ready and I'm going to take you. I'm, you know, we'll get in my vehicle and I'll take you. You don't need, you don't need anything. You just need to have the willpower, the courage, strength to decide that's it, right? So today's the day, but I'm planting a seed in your head and your heart, letting you know that somebody's out here caring about you. That's why I'm talking to you, right? So uh, so uh, that's all the questions that I have. Thank you very much for talking to me. Right. This is help is gonna help out somebody and uh, we'll be in contact, okay? All right, brother.